Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. All right, so it's Friday evening right after work, and you've run low on provisions yet again. Maybe the grocery store is packed to the gills with customers, and even the self-checkout lines are long. Or maybe you have to buy something that you'd rather not anyone see you leaving the store with. Hmm. So wouldn't it be nice to have a way around the crowds, the long waits, the vague sense of embarrassment you get when you hand an 18-pack of toilet paper to the cashier? So this is one of the ideas behind Amazon Go, a new concept grocery store that allows you to walk in, grab what you need, or maybe some I things you don't, and walk right out without any pesky human interaction. And to be clear, it isn't just a glorified place for you to pick up things you've already ordered like we've seen with Amazon's locker system. The only pre-visit setup is to download the Amazon Go app on your phone and link it to your Amazon account. When you walk inside, you'll scan your phone against a turnstile, and when you're all done shopping, you just walk out. Amazon has even put up signs everywhere saying this exact thing, turning just walk out into a slogan to sell customers on its simplicity. But how exactly is it keeping track of what you buy? Well, some of the inventory control features are fairly obvious, like weight sensors under the products. Kind of like what you see in an overpriced hotel minibar that can detect when a box of cashews has been lifted off of them. But unlike that system, Amazon's is smart enough that it won't charge you if you put it back. But much of the real magic actually happens above you, so if you look up in the rafters, you'll see an array of hundreds of cameras and sensors not only keeping an eye on things, but feeding information about customers moving around the store to servers that use machine learning to determine exactly what you've put inside your shopping bag or your backpack or whatever. Now, aside from saying that they don't use facial recognition in this process, and that some products are tagged with special patterns that help the cameras pick them out, Amazon has been relatively tight-lipped about exactly how this process works, which makes it either a little magical or a little creepy, depending on your perspective. One thing we have seen, though, is that it does appear that profiling a customer's body shape and size is part of this special sauce. As one of the issues that Amazon's engineer tangled with prior to launch was the system mistaking one customer for another if they looked physically similar. Now, these little imperfections mean that Amazon staffers are still supervising all of this automation. Plus, they need a surprisingly large number of human employees at the store to help customers, prepare ready-to-eat meals, and check IDs for those of you who want to partake in adult libations. Apparently, the state of Washington hasn't decided it's ready to trust computers to keep smearing off ice out of the hands of unsuspecting college bros. But wait, why am I specifically calling out Washington State? Well, the only Amazon Go store currently open to the public is in downtown Seattle, in one of the same buildings that houses Amazon's headquarters. And Amazon has been cagey about providing details about its plan to expand to more locations in the future. Probably because outfitting a store like this not only requires a huge financial commitment up front, but according to Amazon, also a ton of computing resources to function properly. So it won't happen overnight, but Amazon is betting that their new Go store might resemble the future of retail, and there's been lots of speculation that we might see similar tech employed at Whole Foods, which Amazon now owns. An idea that's already catching criticism for reasons from concerns about huge amounts of data mining to automation putting people out of work, to making it easier to overspend since there's nothing stopping you from walking out with perhaps more than you need. However you might feel about all of that, though, we tried it, and if you find yourself in Seattle anytime soon, I'd say it's worth giving it a shot. So let us know down in the comments if buying some fancy, expensive cheese without the rigmarole of going through checkout made you feel liberated or just kind of funny smelling and broke. But speaking of being broke or hopefully not being broke, are you racing against the clock as a freelancer? It's challenging, but with the growth of the internet, there has never been more opportunities for the self-employed. To meet this need, check out FreshBooks cloud accounting software, designed for the way that you work. It's the simplest and easiest way to be more productive, more organized, and most importantly, get paid more quickly. Create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds, set up online payments with just a couple of clicks, and get paid up to four days faster. See when your client has seen your invoice, put an end to the guessing games. And FreshBooks is offering a 30-day unrestricted free trial to our viewers right now. To claim it, just go to freshbooks.com slash techwiki and enter techwiki in the how did you hear about us section. Okay guys, you know the drill. Thanks for watching TechWiki. Like if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, leave a comment with ideas for future videos, check out our other channels, and don't forget to like and subscribe.